For this example, we're going to create a scatter plot with um, dual axes. So we'll have a primary and a secondary axis. So this is our data on the left. Anytime you're making a scatter plot, always remember your x axis variable, which is this one here, must be on the left. So all of these here are going to be my y axis variable. So I'm going to highlight everything together, starting from the label on the top left, all the way down to the top right. From the insert menu, I'm going to choose scatter. And I want the one with the straight lines and the dots. All right, so here's my scatter graph, if I just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is fix the axes and then we'll format it when we're done. So I want to move this axis that's here in the middle all the way to the right hand side rather than in the middle of my graph. So if I click on the X axis, right click and choose format axes. And down here it says vertical axis crosses. So where do you want this vertical axis to cross? I want it to cross at the maximum value on the right hand side. Go ahead and click close. And now we need to deal with the secondary axis. So we've got a primary axis which is turbulent intensity because you can see the values are quite high. So we're going to click on any of these other three. It doesn't matter which order. So whichever one it clicks first. Um, so this is the purple one, the turbulent flow model. I'm going to right click and say format data series and it says series options primary or secondary and we want to make this a secondary axis so click on secondary and now I'm going to click on the next one make that secondary and then click on the final one and also make that secondary and then go ahead and click close and now I've got my two axes the only thing left for me to do really is to format this and put on some axes labels and titles so the first thing I want to do if I want to match exactly what's on the left here is I want to take this legend and move it underneath so if I go here to layout and choose legend I'm gonna put it on the bottom of my graph alright the next thing I want to do is I want to put some titles on so I'll start with the bottom and we want axes titles, we want the primary horizontal axes, which is the x-axis, and I want that to be below, and this is going to be normalized radius. Okay. And the next one I want is the primary vertical for the y-axis, so I'm going to choose this one, and I want a rotated title. So that's going to be my turbulent intensity as a percent. Oops. And the final title I want is for the secondary vertical axis and a rotated title. So change this. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, um, the last things I want to do is I just want to format um, the range of values here on the x-axis and then fix my y-axis. So you notice this one goes from minus 1.2 to 1.3, so I'm going to select the x-axis, right-click, format axes, and for my minimum value, I said I want minus 1.2. Let me if I move this out of the way here. So fixed 1.2. My maximum, I want to fix it at 1.3. Um, and I can go ahead and leave my uh, major and minor units as they are because they're just what I want here on the bottom. And I want to change the uh, units here on the left. So if I click on this one, I want to add in minor units at 0.25, so you see these little dashes here, so I'm going to say the minor unit is halfway um, between the major unit, and I'm going to add inside minor tick mark labels, and that gives me these little dashes. Now on the right hand side, my major axes, I want it in units of 10 for my major unit, and I don't have any minor unit um, ticks, and you see here on this one my grid lines are for these major axes so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna say no line and then I'm gonna choose this one here my grid lines um, alright so I'm gonna select my Y axis right click and say add major grid lines now the only thing left to do would be to format these um, markers here and the thickness of the line